Okay, here's another one of the requested videos. Let's first check our setup here. So we got a Pandora, of course. We got a keyboard, we got a mouse here. Um, we got a hub and that USB hub is connected to the USB port of the Pandora for sure. We've got the TV out cable, which is connected to the TV as you can see. And we got a mobile phone where we have a 3G connection, which we will use with a Pandora. So um, some of you wanted to see what it's like um, doing some web browsing on a big screen TV. Here you go. Okay, first things first, let's set up the Bluetooth connection. Um, already set it up on my phone, so it's just waiting for the network manager to connect. So let's first set up the connection. While it's connecting, we can uh, start our first browser. Um, let's start with Chromium. Connection is established very well. Um, Chromium in, is, in my opinion, the best browser we have for the Pandora. It doesn't support HTTPS yet, but uh, it's really one of the fastest ones. Let's just start with the boards. Boards you all know and love. <laughs> So, using 3G, um, it's not as fast as Wi-Fi, but it's pretty fast and it's the same speed you have when you're on the go somewhere. You can switch to full screen, which makes things even nicer. So, you can scroll around here. You can see the text is really readable. It's really fun. Let's go to the uh, Pandora section, of course. takes a few seconds but it's really fast so here's another quick review let's see what that guy says wow the quick review is a long one but well as you can see Chromium actually works fine. Of course, you can always switch back to normal mode, can open more tabs. For example, I could go forum.dpgx.de, which is the German boards. You can switch between those two as you can on the normal computer. So, well, it's pretty much the same as if you're sitting on the normal computer, just with the difference I'm sitting here in front of my TV, which is pretty nice. So this one is loaded up all too. We can check the news here. And well, as you can see, Coyote posted a lot of news, but works pretty well. Okay, let's try the next browser. Um, Fennec doesn't make much sense um, because it's basically just a mobile Firefox. Um, which is very cool if you like finger browsing, but as I have a mouse here, it doesn't really make much sense. But I can show you anyway how it looks like on the big screen. And well, as you can see with the big um, icons here, it's really suited for mobile usage, not for a TV. Let's see how this one Loads up the boards. Takes a bit longer than Chromium, but Chromium is really fast. But once it's loaded, it works fine. Only difference is, well, scrolling is a bit weird here if you do it with a mouse, because it's really intended to be used here with a finger, and that works fine. Then you can go to the left open new tabs, go to the right, do some bookmarks and stuff like that. So this browser definitely is pretty nice if you like finger browsing, but doesn't make much sense if you use a mouse. Rendering speed once it's loaded up um, is also pretty nice. Here's as the comparison the German one here. Difference here is um, that it renders according to uh, size. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, and move around here. So that's really one suited for mobile usage. 
Okay. So, yes, I want to close. Let's go to the next one. It's actually one of the built-in ones, that's Aurora. Um, takes a while to load because it has it uses QT4, but it's pretty small and uh, Midori was very crashy at the beginning and still is very crashy, so we implemented Aurora. Maybe we might exchange it with Chromium because Chromium is just so much better, but that needs a, needs a few more fixes for Chromium. It shouldn't write the cache on your NAND and stuff like that. So let's try up to load the boards here. Once you start it up, it also works pretty well. There you go. Pretty much the same as every other browser too. Once it's loaded up completely, scrolling is as fast as in Chromium here. You can use the keyboard, you can use the mouse as usual. So yeah, that one is a small one, works okay. Of course it has not that many features as Chromium has, but well, it works. Okay, time for the next one. We got Midori here. I said Midori is pretty small and pretty fast, so it also loads up pretty fast here. But it has some rendering problems. Um, probably going to change with the with the next updates. But it needs um, a WebKit update. You can see here the logo is missing. But the, f for reading the forum, it's okay. So you can easily go here, read that one up. It displays the page when fully loaded, and well, for reading. It's also pretty good and it's also pretty fast. Okay, last one we have, that's the biggest one, that's Firefox. Firefox definitely takes some time to load. It takes some time to load on a normal PC, so there's no one that does the same here. But I'm really surprised it works really well with a mobile phone. So 3G on the go, I usually have my phone in my pocket and then all I do is um, take it with me, have the Pandora with me and browse the web mobile. Okay, let's just go to gp32x.com again as comparison. It's a bit slower than Chromium but still very usable. Uh, as soon as the site is loaded completely, it's really fast, like the other ones. Of course, you can use the keyboard again, you can use the mouse here. So, yeah, browsing really is fun on the Pandora here. Um, of course, you can also switch to full screen mode. Then you got your menu up there. And well, as you can see, if it's loaded up, it's really fast. Let's go to the German ones for comparison. Forum gp2x.de. And there you go. That was fast. So this video is not shortened or anything like that. Um, the speed of the browsers is really the speed you have on the real unit, too. Um, what's nice with Firefox is that you can actually use the uh, PC extensions. It even loads up graphics really fast, so even here, no slowdown, works, works like on a PC. <laughs> actually works faster than on my ARM, uh, than on my Intel Atom netbook. I guess that's it. Those are all browsers we have here. Of course, you could also do some feed reading, some internet messaging, xchat. If uh, you've seen those already, so this video was just for those people who wanted to see how nice you can browse using a mouse and a keyboard and the different browsers on a TV. Well, I hope you liked that small video.